Hello everybody, welcome back to the wonderful world of Aluna. And as in last episode, I built this cobble slash basalt generator. And uh, I've had it just sitting here for a week and just to demo a little something. I have six basalt cobble and nine cobblestone. So you get pretty close to the same amount of both. Um, I've only had the game up and running here for a minute or two, so I don't really have a very accurate or true representation. But the, the kind of the bigger point I'm making with this is that if you're not in the area, this doesn't function. So if you build one of these, you can't just have it in the middle of no place where no players are. So if there's no players around, that means there's not active blocks. And if there's not active blocks, it doesn't do anything. So, just thought I would share that tidbit. Because, yeah, if you're trying to do that to just get a whole bunch, you're not going to get any. You have to be in the area. So, let's move on from that to other more fun things. Um, I think it's about time we go ahead and just throw some doors on here. Because, like, why not, right? Ooh, that door looks really nice. I didn't realize you would get different doors from different woods. But it appears as if that is the case. Or not. That's the same style door I have in the house. It just looks different in the thumbnail. Which is fine. Um, I believe... I want... Oh, no. I'm supposed to hinge on that side. That's better. Uh, I think it'd be nice to have the, the same stone there, but I don't remember what that was. Let's take a look here. 58 pages. Yeah, that won't take long. Which was this? Um, um, mm, mm. I know the easiest way to find out would just be hit F5 and look at the item string. But I kind of don't want to do that because that will display my coordinates. And while it's no secret where I'm building, uh, I kind of don't want people to know just yet because stuff is so far from being complete and for the most part is kind of just a mess and I want to make it look a little nicer before I start having people come and visit and stuff so yeah what is that teleport pad oh cool all right well I'm thinking that I have no idea what that is Oh well, that's fine. I can come back to that later. I want to go work on the castle wall some more. Which I'm 99% sure when I'm over here working on the castle that the cobble slash space alt generator is not running. So what I may end up doing is just hanging out over there a little bit off camera just for it to run and to make some stuff for me because I need lots of stuffs why is there a is that a moose whatever that is why is he up on my roof it is not a good place for him to be not that it's necessarily overly dangerous but that's not where they're supposed to live. Um. Meh. I need to make more stone. And I don't have any coal. Do I have coal in my hut over here? Let me see. If not, I'm going to have to go find some. I should, though. 
right? Like, there should be a lot of coal. Ah, sitting right in there. Let's go ahead and cook up some cobblestone. And I don't see that I have any stone here at all. Go ahead and eat some carrots just to heal up a little bit there. And yeah, definitely no stone. Which is kind of lame. But it is what it is. Now let's see. Is it this way? Or is it the other way? Tis the other way. Alright, let's grab that. Let's grab these. I'll just let that finish as I go place these. Man, I need to be smarter about this. Let's take... Let's just take a bunch of that coal from this furnace and throw it into the, uh, the blacksmith shop. Why not? That saves me a bunch of walking. That's a genius idea. I'm so glad I thought of it. Just do that, and then pop that in there. Boom. Problem solved. Not really, but... Oh, no, I don't have any cobble. Oh, well. Whatever. It's fine. Let's start placing some bricks. Okay, so as I had previously determined, I'm gonna have... These stick out three spaces, three blocks, three nodes from the wall. And I think I'll do that. One, two, or wait, no. It's going to stick out two, two from the wall, making the top three wide. And then on the outside, I'm going to do some stuff. Don't tell me I don't have a... I don't have a pickaxe. Wahoo. I think I have a bunch of... Bunch of steel in this chest, though. Yep, sure do. Three steel. And some sticks. And we're in business. All because I accidentally put a block out. Alright, let's get rid of that. Make this go bye-bye. That's better. Okay, now... Pretty sure I can't get up here because of that. So that's something I gotta figure out yet. Oh, I'd never finish this. Well, that was silly. Let's finish it. It'd be much safer. And, you know, it'd be nice for the guy who owns this blacksmith shop to have a roof. That way, if it rains out, it doesn't get all soaked. Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. I got a bunch more stone. Alright, so that is looking pretty good. Now, from the outside, here's what I've got going. I'm just doing a block. I would like to do, like, an inverted stair, just because I think that would look really nice. But I'm actually not even positive if I can make stairs out of this material. Which, if I can't, that mean there's no way I could make a, make a inverted stairway. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, I can make stairs, which is good. But at the moment, I do not have the resources to be doing that. And I saw I could make something different. Well, that's weird. What was it? That's a slab. I didn't want a slab. Right there. What is this? Now it disappeared. What? Am I just going crazy, or... Is this saying things can be made, but then changing its mind? I have no idea. It's kind of weird. Oh, wait. Did I grab the coal? I don't even remember. Nope. Let's grab the coal. And, uh, yeah. Let's just, let's go. I suppose I could have thrown the sand in that furnace. Could have cooked sand up. I need the glass. 
but oh well that can be done later I don't know if these corner things are gonna work the plan was to put a stair there but I may just have to do a ladder which isn't the worst thing in the world but that wasn't my initial plan plans change though man you know what they say I have no idea what they say about plans oh then they change but that's fine this is gonna be an epic castle I don't know if epic's necessarily the right word I mean it's gonna be nice but if we compare it to some of the other castles or honestly just some of the other buildings that are on the server this is gonna look like child's play it's going to look like some absolute noob made this which I mean yeah I guess that would be uh, relatively accurate because building is not really my strong point but that's why we're doing this series so I can get better at it alright I think I'm gonna throw some lights up here really for no reason other than to have some light up here and I'm just gonna hop down in here because evidently I can do that without getting hurt Alright, so I have all of the cobble and stone that I have currently on me. And I got tons more stone than I do cobble. Yay. And that's backwards. Man, am I ever going to remember the right way? I wouldn't count on it, so don't get your hopes up too high. Okay, what am I going to use for the rest of his roof? Because he needs a roof the rest of the way across. I mean, you can't just leave the poor guy with a partial roof. Do I do the rest with stone? I don't. I mean, I could. Would that be weird at all? No, nah, probably not. That's all I have for right now, so. He's gonna have to live with it. I should probably put a door or doors uh, in there. So let's go ahead and do that right away. Not that anything could possibly get through there, but it's kind of, you know, like a safety hazard. Like if OSHA came along, they would be like, yo man, not cool. Someone's gonna walk off this and die. To which I would be like, well, then they're a dummy. And they'd be like, doesn't matter. You know about those dummies that iron themselves with irons while they're wearing their clothes and they win lawsuits it's gonna happen to somebody in your property be prepared for that like uh no not really like that's what i thought fix this or else and then i'd have to fix it and yeah i don't feel like doing that so hence the doors to be safe and kid friendly Man, what did we do before we had all these government agencies to keep us safe? Like, people were just dying left and right because they weren't smart enough to do things the safe way. I don't know, man. That just seems silly to me. You know what else seems silly? The fact that Poison Ivy just keeps growing here. That very spot. No matter what, that's where it grows. Like, why will it just never stop growing there there it will grow somewhere else now it won't actually the reason why it does that is biomes lib library it uses some noise and that's the noise noise point where that weed grows berry bushes also will do the same thing like if i dig this berry bush oh i have to use a shovel for that don't i another berry bush will grow there same thing with here. Another berry bush will grow there. I noticed that in another server, which I actually exploited. I don't know if it's necessarily an exploit, but what I did was like, okay, so every single time I 
pick this berry bush, a new one grows in the exact same spot. Hmm, I wonder if I couldn't use that to my advantage. And so I pretty much just kept going back to that same spot and stealing all the berries. Or the berry bushes. Because I wanted to put in a little berry farm. I don't know if a berry farm is really the right word, but I wanted to put in some berry bushes. And so I did. And... I am about to start work on a building of epic proportions. So I need some good things. Glow crystal. Glow emerald. Very cool. Glass. Do I need any glass? Mm, I don't think so. There's a lot of junk on me that I don't need, but I, I'm out of spaces to throw it. All right. You know what, though? We are going to lay it out with dirt. Because that's my favorite way of doing stuff, is lay it out with dirt. Okay, so as you may have guessed from me mentioning glow crystals, and if you watched the previous episode, where I mentioned the glow crystals the first time, those are for the church. Wait a minute. What? Now I'm confused. Compressed, that's what it is, it's compressed cobble. I remember now. And I don't even know if it would be in the crafting guide then. Okay, well, I'm just going to throw these up on this guy's roof real quick. Because, you know, I've got I've got them on me. Alright, so. We have this little corner tower thing here. Do I need that corner tower thing there? Yeah, and no. Let's do this. We'll block this off. And we'll have, like, a back door. And then this corner here will... Um... Yeah, we'll do that. And that'll still be a, a a stairway up of some sort. And that'll just have one door to it, so this will all be blocked off. Except for the door. Which will go right there. And maybe I'll even leave the torch there, because that might be a nice little effect. Alright, and then this, the wall... The wall from the castle wall will reach out to here. So let me just throw this just for uh, visual. Okay, so then the interior wall can be pulled to here. Is that going to work? Yeah, well, no, the interior wall can stay right up to this. And then I can do like a cathedral ceiling on it. Okay. So, it's going to be like a little secret backdoor entrance. It won't really be secret, because I literally just told every single one of my viewers that that's what it's going to be. But, <laughs> it's going to be a little back entrance way. And it's going to be pretty large. I'm thinking that's probably a good size. I mean... Well, I probably would want to make it bigger, but I feel like it's going to mostly be an empty structure, so there's really no reason to make it super large. Now, is this with the wall on there, or the floor? I don't think it is, which does pose a minor problem. Yeah, this still needs to stick in. Forgot about that. So that's going to be coming in like this, coming across here 
to make the floor up there. Because that floor needs to be walkable. Because in the event of, oh, you know, a siege or something, you want to make sure that your troops can still get around. But that's okay. We'll just have a little bit lower ceiling there. And then we'll kind of maybe do an angled roof. That would be cool. Angle the roof up. And then this is where we would put the big stained glass windows. Yeah, that'll work. It should work. I'm about 47.5% sure that'll work. Alright, so I'll have to clear out some of this stuff. Which, I should use the... The good old shift jump. Which was... Something I... Did not realize how useful that would be for a tree. But boy oh boy is that useful. Uh, the floor of the church. Not gonna be grass. But what? What do I have a lot of? What can I get a lot of? Pine. I mean... I am gonna have a lot of pine coming in. From clearing out these trees. How would that look? A light colored floor I really don't see any reason why that wouldn't be suitable it'll uh, it'll provide greater contrast with the castle wall and what about this wall should that be the same no I feel like that should be a different material marble do I still have marble on me I do can I make marble stairs I can. Okay, that's good. Let's see, though. Can I use marble in the table saw? Circular saw, whatever it's called. I think it's called a circular saw, even though it technically is a table saw. Jump and hope I don't die. And I hit in the water, so that's good. Alright, we're just going to run over here. I'm going to see if I can use the marble in the circular saw. And then I'm going to go check on the generator and that's gonna wrap the episode up then so let's take a peek shall we what does this do when I input marble beautiful because then I can use slopes for the for the roof instead of stairs and I think I can do slopes upside down as well to get an actual slope ceiling on the inside and I can do like some chandeliers there's corner slopes It'll be tricky to figure it all out, but it'll definitely be worth it. It'll be a very epic looking cathedral. All right, and let's not fall in the lava. Okay, so we get about the same amount of each. 22 base salt, oh, 23 base salt, 21 cobble. Looks like we had another base salt incoming. So that is most useful. Well, um, I should probably go stand in some place to end this, though I could totally end it with my moving around. It wouldn't matter at all. All right, well, that wraps up this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I foresee in the next few weeks that I will probably share the location so you can come and visit. But right now, there's still just so much in planning stages that Things are going to probably change around some, and I I don't know. I guess it wouldn't matter at all, but I like to keep things secrets. You know, build suspense and um, hype it. You know, got to really hype this. That way people will be super excited. And, um, yeah, that'll help something, I guess. I don't know. I never took marketing, so that's why I'm a horrible marketer. The story of my life. And with that, I bid the adieu.